fellow wet shavers. Leroy right here, Nomeo Shaves back with another shaving video. How is everybody just doing today? Um, I hope your week is going well. Mine is pretty well. Um, very, very busy week at work, but I am super, super excited about this shave. This is something that um, I have been wanting to get for a very long time. I was able to, uh, finally, finally able to get it. I was holding out for Black Friday to try to get this, but it sold out before I could get, before I could have put it in my cart. But luckily, Rod came back and he had a few extra sets in his back pocket, I guess, and uh, so I ended up getting it. Sterling Soap Company's R4L Responders for Life. This is the uh, special edition soap that he made for the South Florida Wet Shavers Facebook group, and this is based on Tom Ford Gray Vetiver. Oh my god, it smells beautiful. I was thinking about this earlier, and I think of my non-menthol Sterling Soaps, this is my second favorite, right behind Sterling Gentleman. Um, there's something about this scent that just, it, it's beautiful. It's a little on the weaker side, but God, it's beautiful. And yes, I have a matching splash, not opened yet, so we get to see how that feels together. Brush, going full tilt Sterling, baby, full tilt. So this is the Butterscotch Fan, uh, two band finest fan, badger nut. Right. Um, and for the uh, razor, going with my commissary. And I'm going to put a brand new Captain Titan Mile Pink blade in this bad boy. Alright, let me go ahead and put this blue water on my face. And we will get into the shave. Oh, this is such a beautiful smell. Very, very nice. So if you guys don't know, this was um, a soap that was made for the South Florida South Florida Wet Shavers Facebook group. And this was put together to donate a bunch of money for Responders for Life, and it was just a fantastic cause. Just warm up the brush a little bit. Squeeze it out. Alright, let's go into a lather. Or a, not a lather, but a, a loo. Yeah. With all sterling soaps, you know, it's filled to the brim. This is, I think it's over 5.8 ounces for sure. I mean, I barely had enough room in there for to put bloom water in. They don't skimp, boy, they really don't. Yeah, like I said, it's been a pretty crazy week, so my last shave was Monday. Um, I didn't feel like doing any recording, so I didn't record that shave. And unfortunately, I, I didn't have a very good shave. I was using um, Phoenix and Bow. It was Spitfire, beautiful scent, beautiful scent, but it didn't quite lather the way I expected it to. It was really airy, so I didn't get a good shave. And then I also found out that night that... Boss cods don't work in my fat boy. Is what it is. I'm just trying to get a nice load here. There we go. I think we're probably good. Yeah, so I've used Boss cods before. They work great on my Rockwell. For some reason, it didn't work so well on my fat boy. It could have been my, my soap too, my, my, my lather. It was just a bad shave overall. Kind of in a, not the best of attitudes, I think. So I just wasn't feeling it. Right. So there's the uh, soap all dried off. Or not dried off, but washed off. Oh, I love this scent. Yeah, it's probably sitting right about a four. Alright, I'm going to... So I've been thinking about themes for um, this year. I'm going to be on, a, I don't, I'm going to concentrate not so much on software this year. Like I mentioned before, there's a few um, pieces of hardware that I want to get. 
So I think I'll try to concentrate on those more. You know, I want to want to get better at my straights, my commissories. But one idea I was playing with was to um, use something for a month, whether it's a soap, brush, razor, combination. What do you guys think? So for the whole year, I'd like to do that. You know, if we use a soap for a month, it'll give you a chance to really start burning through some soaps, you know? That's just one idea that I had. I know it can get a little bit boring. Beautiful. A little bit more water. These fed notes are actually kind of neat. neat. I've been using that uh, TGM bulb in the past quite a few shaves. Beautiful knot. And the backbone is just a little bit different on this one. Just add a little bit of water. Just paint it in. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind on comments and stuff. So I apologize about that. Been a, like I said, it's been a really busy week. Shoot. All right, look at that lather. He got a lot sterling. All right, I need to... Uh... So in case you, you're kind of new to the channel and you haven't seen one of these get loaded before, these are Feather Artist Club blades. Um, it come in a, all of them come in a very similar pack. And you just pull back, you hear that click, and you push forward, and the blade comes out just like that. Now these commissories are the easiest thing in the world to, to load. You, you can pinch the spine and the back together, and it opens up like that. I don't know if you guys can see it. You just put them in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. First pass with the grain. Right side. Oop. Sorry, mirror is a little bit foggy. There we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that last shade that I had. So this is three days of growth. But yeah, the last one that I recorded, man. Drop on that razor, sheesh. Good thing I didn't break it. I've noticed that I'm a little bit behind in videos, maybe around three days now, four days. Um, and I've noticed a couple of you wet tubers got that Cremo set.
And that set description sounds amazing. on my diet going really well I'd mentioned that I'm following the carnivore diet and I've pretty much followed it probably 99% now what I say 99% because on the night of the first, I had a glass of wine. Sue me. And then... I've got some protein powder. It is a beef protein. Yes, they do make that. Um, but it does have a, like one gram of sugar. So that's why I say 99%. See, that's what I get for talking. I've been keeping my calories, for the most part, in track. Um, right, cold water rinse. So, um, during the week, I keep in a deficit. I do count calories. Um, and then on the weekends, I'm keeping a carnivore, but I'm a little bit more relaxed in how much I eat. You know, it's not, it's your weekly total matters a bit more than, you know, what you can do day by day. Weight hasn't come off as fast as I'd like, but I can feel it in my waist and I can notice some changes in my shoulders and stuff. So, progress. Baby steps. But overall, I like how I feel. And I think that's more important than losing weight, right? As long as you feel good, you know what, you'll probably come off. Now, do you guys watch Chris Madden? That freaking dude is a natural when it comes to um, the straight razor. Holy crap. Beautiful razor, though. Beautiful. Freaking Drew Dick, man. Woo. Custom razors are not cheap. I've been pricing them. The one I want is minimum five fifty. And I don't think that's what scales. That's a commissory. So, that's going to have to wait. It's 
So I do have a, uh, a razor picked out. I think I mentioned it before. As soon as finances in Swambo fall into play. I'll pick that bad boy up. Nice. Almost done. Almost done. Just got to touch up here and here. <laughs> Beautiful. Slickness. Beautiful of the soap. Residual is amazing. Scent is... Staying right around the four. You know, not super strong. But I know there's quite a few people that are okay with that. Me? I'm fine. Dang it. But I'm gonna add some more water. But. I do like them when they're a little bit stronger. On the other end. If the scent is too strong, there's a probably good chance it's going to irritate my skin and that would just suck balls. Nice, very nice. It sounds weird, but I'm starting to get more and more comfortable with this versus the DE. Weird. Really strange. <laughs> We're done. All right, Leah. <laughs> I don't want to waste this one. You guys know Sterling. Yeah, I still haven't had a chance to put my top 10 of 2018 together. I apologize for that. I don't know if I'll get around to it now.
you what. That is one fabulous shave. All right. Time for, I'm looking forward to this. I'm not going to put any balm on. I want my wife to smell it. Brand new. Got to shake it. Oh, this is beautiful. Slight burn here. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. Oh my god. This is something special. Very, very special. Oh my gosh. I've smelt gray vetiver in the in some of the stores. And while it's good, there's something a bit different about this one that I like more. This is just beautiful. Oh. This is mm. Ooh, Sterling Gentleman has uh, has some competition. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. That's my shave, everybody. 22 minutes, not too bad. All right, brush. Sterling Two Band, Two Band Finest Badger, the fan knot with the butterscotch handle. Razor, my Kamasori shave head with a Kai Captain Mild Pink blade inside of it. <laughs> and for me, the absolute star of the show was Sterling's Responders for Life shave soap. Made for this... South Florida Wet Shavers Facebook group. <clears throat> Fan freaking tastic. If you like cologne scents, um, please look on the BSTs for this soap. Hopefully Rod will bring this as a as a as a as a staple, as a part of the permanent line. Um he doesn't have to use it R4L, but any any type of note, any type of to, of um of name, I'll buy it. Beautiful. Ooh, did someone say EDT? Hmm. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's my shave. I hope you really enjoyed it. I sure as the hell did. This was beautiful. Beautiful. Ugh. Got a, a couple little weepers right here. Well, that's my fault. I'm trying to talk and bullshit and all that other stuff, you know. No irritation. I had a slight burn right here. Normal for me. Beautiful. Thanks, everybody. Um, I appreciate you all joining me. Hope you all had a fantastic week. And, you know, if, if, if you're having trouble... Keeping with your New Year's resolutions as far as losing weight goes, just remember, we've all been there. You just got to dig down deep and just go for it, all right? Um, you know, you're going to fall off the, the wagon. You just got to climb back up on. Don't don't let one mistake, you know, one day turn into a week, turn into a month. Just get right back on the horse, all right? Over time, you will get longer and longer and longer between cheats, okay? And then so, sooner or later, you'll be like, I don't even crave that stuff anymore. I don't even want it. You can, like, like right now. I can walk into a bakery and I can smell all those beautiful smells, but I don't get any cravings for them. Don't get me wrong. If I have one, I'm it's going to taste fucking good. But I don't get that craving and it's not that I don't need it. All right? So it, it can happen. All right. That's enough bullshitting. Y'all have a great, great day. Fantastic weekend. And until next time, remember, as always, do not text and drive. And come on. Get on that wagon. Stay on it. Put those New Year's resolutions into full swing. Take care. Oh, if you have any questions, please try them down below. I think my my email address is, is in my profile somewhere. So please PM me, whatever you want to do. I got all kinds of information. I can talk about it all day long. Okay, so that's it. I'm done. I'm out of breath. Take care. Until next time, don't text and drive. <laughs> Bye, guys.